Hey, today I'm going to show you how to get Fahrenheit working under Windows 7 64-bit and how to change the resolution if your resolution isn't supported. Okay, so you start by going to the disk, copying all the contents and placing it onto your hard drive. Okay, so you might have tried it, it doesn't work, it just crashes or it just says it has to quit. So what you have to do is go to gamecopyworld.com Any mirror will do, as long as it's online. Enter. And look for here, PC, Game Index. Just click on FM. F2M. And click on Fahrenheit. What you're going to need is... Oh, that's fine. You're going to need this one. Version 1.1. And you're going to want to download the... Vista 3264 installation fix. So download those two things from here. Um, oops. Search the Fahrenheit update um, in Google. It's not too hard to find. Look for Fahrenheit 1.1 update. So once you've got those couple of files, now it's time to install the game. Okay. So I've already downloaded. There's no point in me downloading again. First things first, click and drag or extract to where you've installed the game, well where you've placed the files off the CD onto your hard drive, replace it, then run setup, that will install it, so then the next thing you got to do is update it. So update it with the Fahrenheit patch 1.1, once that's done go to where the game's installed, which should be in C, Program Files, Atari, Fahrenheit, and it's there, unless you've put it elsewhere. So just like how you did with the setup fix, just click and drag and replace the Fahrenheit exe, and that will make it so it doesn't need the disk, even if, you know, you actually do own the game or whatever. But it's up to you. I, I actually own the game, but I use the no CD crack just to make sure it works. I'm going to show you how to change the resolution in Fahrenheit if your resolution isn't in the game or supported. What you're going to do, have to do is download a hex program. I use, let's have a look, hex workshop, hex editor. Just do a Google search and you'll find it. Just to see what it looks like if you're unsure. It should be pretty simple. You know, there it is, .com, you know, you just download it. Okay, if you're using the same hex program that I am, this is what it'll look like once you've installed and opened it up. So go File, Open, go to where Fahrenheit's installed, and click this folder, OBJ. You only have this file, but this is a backup of this file, of the original, sorry. So just click that to edit it. I'm just using the original just to show you what to do. Okay, so I'll post the link where I found this because it does get a bit confusing. If you're using a 6.9 resolution, so like 1920 um, by 1080, this is what you've got to do. You go find, make sure it's texturing, value 600. Click OK, edit, find next. Now this is the one you want to edit. So click in front of the one, put in your resolution that you want. OK, that's done. You go edit, find, 1200. Go OK. Find next again. This is the one you want to edit. So remember, put it in front of the one. Hmm. Okay, I'll obviously stop that up. 10, 80. Okay. Then you go save. It'll ask if you want to make a backup. <coughs> it's up to you. It's probably better if you're not 100% sure or confident. So you save it, and then bam, your game's done. Okay, so just look on the description. I've posted a link where I actually found out how to do this. It also tells you how to change the resolution of the movies, like the intro Atari starting logo, so you can have a look at that. Um, I didn't bother editing it because, you know, I couldn't be bothered. Okay, so if you've got a setup like mine, two screens, and you've tried to run Fahrenheit, you know, obviously it doesn't work. You know, you can hear audio, but no video some reason doesn't like two screens, so you've got to disable the second screen. 
So to do that you can either pull it out of the computer or like mine you can do it like this. Disable it like that. I'm guessing you can see that. Okay so it's just the one screen. And then you know Fahrenheit will work. Perfect. I don't know why it doesn't. There might be a way around it. I think there's other programs that you can do it to disable it automatically. But you know with me it's you know with an ATI card it's just easy that way. Pretty sure my video cards would be roughly the same. It's not really hard, just each time you want to play Fahrenheit you just got to disable the second screen and then you know it'll work. And, you know when you're done with it just enable it back again. Alright, thanks for watching.